She's an American legend. Ethel Kennedy raised 11 children, and she was there the night her husband, Bobby Kennedy, was assassinated in 1968. Her grandson, Joe Kennedy III, announced her death. It is with our hearts full of love that we announce the passing of our amazing grandmother, Ethel Kennedy. She died this morning from complications related to a stroke suffered last week. Ethel married into the Kennedy clan in 1950. She never married again after Bobby's murder, but famously dated the singer Andy Williams for a time in the 70s. Ethel had only one love in her life, and it was Robert Kennedy. Nothing could ever replace him. To have your husband shot, is his life going out with him in your arms? You don't get over this. It's there within you the rest of your life. Ethel Kennedy endured more tragedy over the years. Her son David died of a drug overdose in 1984. Another son, Michael, lost his life in 1997 in a skiing accident in Aspen. And her nephew, Michael Skakel, was convicted of murdering his 15-year-old neighbor, Martha Moxley, when he too was 15. His conviction was eventually overturned. Her son RFK Jr.'s controversial third party run for president this year led to a big family rift. Bobby Jr.'s wife, actress Cheryl Hines, said, my mother-in-law passed this morning. It has been my great honor to have shared laughter and love with Ethel. In 2014, she took part in the ice bucket challenge with her extended family. That same year, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Obama. Her niece, Maria Shriver, paid tribute to Ethel today. What a life.